to metabolisms, carbohydrates as well as proteins, they are mainly concentrating on the chemistry part. So chemistry part has its own uh, good number of patients more than what we ex expect from metabolism. Metabolism proper, they are asking very less patients. Uh, they are concentrating more on chemistry, so we will also go in that fashion. Dietary fiber, is it a monosaccharide, is it a disaccharide, is it a polysaccharide or is it a non-starch polysaccharide? It is a non-starch polysaccharide. Now why is it a non-starch polysaccharide? Non-starch substances, they cannot be digested by the body. Now, if we look at a carbohydrate and we have a monosaccharide, monosaccharides very easily absorbed, okay. May it be for blood or intestine, blood or intestine. Now, what is happening when there is some monosaccharide inside the blood if monosaccharide is there it will easily diffuse inside the cells from the blood monosaccharides are very easily taken up by different cells for metabolism like glucose fructose galactose all those are monosaccharides single carbohydrate units very easily taken up by cells for metabolism. Same way if they are there inside the intestine monosaccharides easily absorbed inside the intestine very easily they are absorbed okay glucose fructose by glute transporters SGLT transporters they are very easily absorbed monosaccharides. Now suppose that is not the case. We are talking about disaccharides, disaccharides, sucrose, maltose, isomaltose, lactose, all these are disaccharides and these disaccharides, they are a bit difficult for them to move inside the cells. Now, sucrose or fructodex, sorry, we will just talk about sucrose. Now, if sucrose is there inside the blood, this sucrose cannot be taken up easily by the cells. This sucrose is not taken easily by the cells. That is why earlier days when they did not have this uh, Palmer, uh, Schwanskans catheter, okay, and earlier days when they did not have this. Uh, method to measure the total body volume, they used to give sucrose to that patient. They used to give sucrose to that patient and estimate the blood volume. Whenever sucrose was given to that patient, it created a space of its own also known as a sucrose space. Okay. Why this was done? Because sucrose was not easily distributed to the cells. And whenever sucrose was given, it was going to stay inside the blood vessels. Okay, for some time and they calculated the blood volume through that sucrose space. Now disaccharides inside the intestine, we have enzymes sucrase, maltase, lactase, isomaltase. So they are a bit difficult to get absorbed inside the intestine. On the brush border cells, we have enzymes known as disaccharidases disaccharidases. What are they? Sucrase, maltase, lactase, isomaltase. What they do is they break down sucrose into glucose plus fructose, maltose into glucose plus glucose, lactose into glucose plus galactose, isomaltose into glucose plus glucose. All these are broken down by disaccharides. When they are broken down into monosaccharides, then only they are absorbed inside. Now, if we talk about oligosaccharides, oligosaccharides are too complex to be there inside the blood. From where does body get, blood get disaccharides or monosaccharides? It has to get from intestine only, it has to get absorbed from there only. 
So, oligosaccharides will not get absorbed. There is no chance oligosaccharide or a polysaccharide is absorbed, not possible. It cannot be absorbed. So, it cannot be there inside the blood. But what we do, we are intelligent people. God has made us so intelligent. We give dextrans. What are dextrans? Dextrans directly we give IV. Correct or not? Yes or no? Dextrans we give IV. What does it do? Dex plasma volume to maintain plasma volume replacement of blood why because it is so complex it cannot be distributed inside the uh, cells so it will stay inside the blood and it will maintain the blood volume that is why we are giving dextrans now sometimes we are giving iron dextrans you give iron to a patient which is complicated with dextran why we are giving it like that because we want the iron to stay in the blood for a very long time Okay, that is why iron is given as iron dextran solution or we give plain dextrans to maintain the blood volume. Same case, if this person is having diarrhea or is having inflammatory bowel disease wherein his stools are not being formed properly, what do you give? We give fiber. We give fiber, dextrans are digested in the inside the intestine. If you give dextrans, easily digested. So, what we give? We give something which should not be digested that will form the bulk of the stool. So, we give fiber which is rich in cellulose. We cannot break down cellulose because we cannot break down alpha 1 to bond. Okay? Cellulose, lignin, chitin, pectin and all those. All those are dietary fibers which cannot be, which cannot be digested. They are called as non-starch polysaccharides. Okay, carbohydrates are divided into monosaccharides, disaccharides, oligosaccharides, and polysaccharides. Non-reducing disaccharide. Which of the following is a non-reducing disaccharide? Are you sure? If it is a PGI Chandigarh question, what will you write? Sucrose and trihalose, both are non-reducing. What do we mean by reducing and what do we mean by non-reducing? Okay, now I have here two glucose molecules. This is carbon 1, this is carbon 1, two glucose molecules. Suppose we are talking about maltose, okay, maltose. Now, maltose, the bond form between maltose is alpha 1, 4 bond form between glucose, two glucose molecules in maltose is alpha 1, 4. Now, this functional group is busy, but this functional group here is free and this will bring about reduction of Benedict's reagent or reduction of copper. That is why it is called as a reducing agent. So, maltose because glucose is present in alpha 1, 4, it is a reducing sugar. Now, if we talk about galactose, galactose is the fourth epimer or else we will talk about sucrose. Now, in sucrose, we are having one glucose and one fructose. In the fructose, ketose is present on the second carbon. What is happening is there is a bond form between the first and the second that is alpha 1 2 bond. Now, this functional group is busy, this functional group is busy. So, there is no functional group to reduce the copper. That is why sucrose becomes a non-reducing sugar. So, sucrose and trihalose are two disaccharides which are non-reducing. Maltose and lactose are reducing sugars. Now, 
Why is sucrose the best answer? Because tree hollows is present in insect lymph. Is present in. Nevertheless, it is there in nature, but it is not there in humans. So we won't go for tree hollows. We'll go for sucrose. But if it is a PGI question, then you will have to answer both of them. One more important thing about sucrose is sucrose is called as inward sugar. Why? Because sucrose is usually dextrorotatory. That means if you put it in a plain polarized light, it will turn the light towards the right side. But if you hydrolyze this, if you hydrolyze this, fructose being levorotatory, the solution will mostly become levorotatory. So a dextrorotatory solution now becomes levorotatory solution. That is why sucrose is called as invert sugar okay next is polysaccharides glycosaminoglycan consists of what what are glycosaminoglycans made up of glycosaminoglycans are made up of amino sugars and uronic acid uronic acid okay plus an amino sugar that is a sugar to which a amine group is attached amino sugar it can be amino sugar can be of two types glucose amine or galactose amine glucose amine or galactose amine galactose amine is present in two glycosaminoglycans one is chondroitin sulfate chondroitin sulfate and dermatin sulfate chondroitin sulfate and dermatin sulfate both of them are having galactose amine as the amino sugar okay glucose amine is present in rest of them whatever uh, glycose amino glycans are there rest of them have glucose amine except for chondroitin sulfate and dermatin sulfate which are having galactose amine now this chondroitin sulfate will have a uronic acid this uronic acid is known as gluc uronic acid gluc uronic acid so if a compound is having gluc uronic acid with galactosamine it is chondroitin sulfate it is chondroitin sulfate gluc uronic acid plus galactosamine id uronic acid id uronic acid id uronic acid with galactosamine is dermatin sulfate only two have galactosamine chondroitin and dermatin chondroitin sulfate will have glucuronic acid dermatin sulfate will have id uronic acid now glucose amine if we look at glucose amine heparin sulfate and heparin heparin sulfate and heparin heparin sulfate and heparin both are having glucose amines both are having glucose amines heparin sulfate and heparin these two are having galactose amine these two are having glucose amine this will have glucuronic acid and this will have Iduronic acid. Glucose amine with glucuronic acid, it is heparin sulfate. Glucose amine with iduronic acid, it is heparin. Glucuronic acid with galactose amine, it is chondroitin sulfate. Iduronic acid with dermatin sulfate, it is sorry, iduronic acid with galactose amine, it is dermatin sulfate. Glucose amine glucose amine plus 
galactose is keratin sulfate. Glucose amine plus galactose is keratin sulfate. What is different here? How is it different? No uronic acid. So, here comes your question which of the following glycosaminoglycans will not have a uronic acid? It is keratin sulfate. Keratin sulfate has no uronic acid, it is plain galactose with glucose amine, okay, that is keratin sulfate. Where is hyaluronic acid present? Now, hyaluronic acid mostly it is present in vitreous humor. So, hyaluronic acid it is made up of glucuronic acid and NH style glucosamine. Glucuronate with galactosamine is chondritin sulfate, galactosamine with iduronate is dermatin sulfate, same thing glucosamine with glucuronate is heparin sulfate, glucosamine with iduronate is heparin. Keratin sulfate has no uronic acid, it is galactose plus glucosamine. Okay. So, where are they present? 